Alright, so after a long hiatus in Star Citizen, I figured we'd try it again. I've been playing for a little bit. It seems to be a lot less glitchy now. Uh, before it was almost unplayable, the crashing, falling through floors, elevators, ship crashing, blowing up for no reason, losing all your credits, it's awesome. Now it seems to be a little bit better. So we're going to give it a shot. I've been playing again for about another, about a, a week now, and of course lost all my credits, you know, blew up. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, keep going on or you don't play, but it's, it's a pretty awesome game. You just have to, you know, it's just a game. So today we're going to do some cargo runs. You see I changed my character. I am a, a lady now. For some reason, I thought, well, we'll give that a shot, see if that's any better. Probably not. And here is my avatar. I have a backpack full of my good stuff. Uh, and that's all the stuff we have uh, stored or, or uh, gotten from different landings, different boxes, loot boxes, and that kind of thing. So what we're going to do basically now is just do a cargo run to, blow, uh, to see if we can get some more cash. I used to have about 350,000 and loaded up my uh, one of my cargo ships. Came in a little too hot at Area 18 because they put all them low-lying clouds in. Ran into a skyscraper. Yep. So be careful and go slow. And you'll probably be uh, not me. So I had to start all over again with about 30,000 credits. Got about you know, 86,000 now. So I do uh, just cargo missions. Or I do uh, contracts. I'm not much of a shoot 'em up guy for the uh, bounty hunting and mercenary and that kind of stuff. So I'll stick with like um, uh, low stuff like this, deliveries, searching. You know, just uh, easy cash. That's 15k. And it takes about a you know half hour maybe to do that. So you know, slowly. And while you're doing that, what I've been doing is doing. Um, you know, like these uh, deliveries for um, nine grand. You got three packages, pretty easy stuff. And once I get to area uh, uh, 56, 45, or 59, 45, 48, sorry, then I can load up whatever I'm using. Like right now, I'm using my Cutlass Black. I load that up with as much diamonds as I can, because diamonds, if you can find them, they always sell. You don't get stuck with the cargo. We're not going to do a cargo run today. We're just going to do... Um, let me get out of here. We're just going to do um, a diamond run. So we're just going to rip down here to... We're in Area 18 right now. And this is my home base. Get that off the screen. Uh, I like Area 18 because it's um, it's fairly uh, fairly easy to get around. You know, the planets are close. Um, you don't have to go through you know 10 minutes of going down into like uh, what's that one where it's a really really long really really long climb. Take a look. It takes five to ten minutes to get up there. Crusader. This is brutal. I don't know if they fixed that because I haven't been there in a while. But uh, I used to go to uh, Microcorp here, which is okay too, you know, kind of neat, well, it depends on what you want, it's not hard to load up all your ca cargo and then just kind of make your new base, take it all, all to Microcorp and then do that, but I find um, it's a lot easier at Area 18 to get to where you need to go, other than Microcorp you have to park, you have to take that really long tram, then go all the way through all of that stuff to get to your port or to the trade district wherever you can sell it. Not so on Area 18. Basically, uh, I'm coming out of uh, the residence. This is such a cool get. Oh, there goes a ship right there. Uh, you have your armor and guns right there. You have your uh, residence where you uh, uh, spawn in and spawn out. Oh, here comes another dude. And if you need to go to get to your ship, welcome. Just rip down here to the transit. The nice thing about that is right there is where you're going to take your, uh, uh, once you park your ship, uh, come in through the, uh, the, the uh, what do you call that? You know what I mean. The 
transit. You come up here, through here, and then you just head right over there and sell it. So it's really, really quick actually. So we'll do a do a quick uh, do a quick cargo run. And it's kind of like an enjoyable, you know, mindless, mindless game. This guy's always standing here. I don't know why. He doesn't do anything. Just kind of hangs out. Hey, whatever floats your boat, man. The graphics in the game are actually really good. I'll try and go a little slower so you can see. Uh, we're going to Riker Memorial Spaceport. I wonder where they got that name from. And actually, and here's a bar. You can actually go in here and then look out the window at this landing bay. So it, there's a lot of really cool stuff if you want to just wander around and, and uh, search and just explore. It's pretty cool. Hopefully eventually they'll get, you know, to some of these buildings, you know, make it bigger, but I mean this game has been in uh, production, or no, uh, maybe not production, but it's been uh, been worked on for 10, 11, 12 years now. What they have going is actually really good. Uh, hopefully it keeps going because I, I, I like the game. And that is actually a ship. Those markers are, there's a ship up there sure why but he's just waiting so we've got another 21 seconds for the uh, for the uh, tram that's the word that I was looking for tram okay all right and we're gonna head over to the spaceport grab the cutlass black head to uh, Walla to probably uh, area uh, 048 or 056 load up with some diamonds and then come on back and sell them Right now I've got 86,000 credits. I'm not going to get a lot because that's not a lot of money. You need like a half a million credits to, to do cargo runs and kind of make it worth your while. And then you can really start loading up the cash because it takes a lot of credits to buy another ship. So, yeah. There's that. Oh, what's that over there? It's like a office building. Okay. The detail is pretty cool. I mean, if you really look at it. It's, every planet is different, uh, different atmospheres, different gravities, and sometimes that bites you in the butt because you, you're used to one gravity and then you go to another planet and all of a sudden the gravity is a lot heavier and you can't slow down and you smash and blow it up load up real good. Ooh, a little glitchy. Guess I should have shut off all my other programs here. I'm running a 30, 3050 card. The GeForce 3050. And I probably should have spent the other 50 bucks to get like a 3070 or something like that. Because uh, this is a pretty intensive game. Shut off all your unused programs. Free up those resources to run run this and I'm true I'm using my new throttle uh, my new hotas I bought a, an x56 about a couple months ago now arriving. Um, just finished setting it up with DCS and Star Citizen and you know flight simulator that kind of stuff and I like it it's a it's a it's a really really nice upgrade to um, from the x52 that I did have it was a good, uh, was a good hotas. I used it for about three years, and it just kind of said, "Nope, no more." And uh, you can't fix them; they're uh, they're too hard to fix. They're, well, they cost too much. All right, We're almost at the terminal where we can call our ship. Let's just go over here real quick. Another neat thing about this game is this uh, is an actual view of what's going on outside. So if someone's coming in uh, from over there, 
you can actually see their ship come in and here are your uh, landing pads. There's some here and then there's other ones over there. You can actually real-time watch them come in and land. And that's pretty cool. Alright. Sorry for the jerkiness here. My mouse isn't that great. And we're going to go to the terminal, call our ship. Welcome and to the ASOC vehicle that, retrieval because system. Because we don't need the freelancers too much, you know, too much freight. Uh, we only we don't have that much freight. I can't even fill fill the Cutlass Black with what the c credits that I have on hand. Vehicle select. So Your no vehicle has that. been delivered to the following location. Hangar Please two. visit us again. Goodbye. Oops. Peesh. Slow down. Slow down. All right. Hangar two. They seem to have fixed all the glitches with the elevators. I, I hear there's some once in a while where you you can't get uh, can't get in the doors won't open, or you go in and all of a sudden you're in an atmosphere out in space. So that's happened to me a couple times too. So and here is my Cutlass Black. I'll take a look around here real quick. This is like a medium freight, uh, dual freight fighter kind of thing. It works really well. Really nice cockpit. You can't get in from there. You have to go to the back or the side. It's got two cargo bays, uh, two gar cargo doors on the side, and then the main one on the back with the ramp. Okay, we're gonna open up the doors. Back up. on inside and then we're gonna shut the door before we go too far I am going to put on my helmet because I always forget and always make sure you got yourself a couple uh, med pens they help when you uh, do stupid stuff like that okay I'm gonna get in the ship hopefully my uh, track IR is gonna work yep Okay, first thing we're going to do is start up the engines, set my throttle, and get floating. Alright, lift the landing gear, and we're going to call, call terminal so we can get out of here. Oh, no, we're going out. Turn on our lights. And then as we're going up, we'll uh, set our uh, coordinates for um, getting to Walla. Side shot of what's going on. This is area 18. And there's a trick to coming back too, because a lot of times you can't find this port. Um, it's so dark here. It's really, really, really hard to find. All right, let's get uh, punch in our coordinates. We're gonna go to Walla, and we're gonna go to 56 or 45 or 48. Let's go to 48 and set the route. You'll see over here. That's how much it takes to get there, and we'll fire up our drive.
Okay. Let's book it out of here. Follow the green arrows. We're just lining up to get our spooling up our uh, drive here. Spooling complete, and away we go. Sure, why that shows I'm down. Quantum drive is now okay, off. we gotta watch here because it's so dark. Gotta watch your altitude, which is on the right, because you do not want to smash into the ground. Once we get to about 10,000 or 10 clicks, it starts to go really rapidly, so you have to really slow down. I use my ping to get a layout of the land to see if uh, there's any obstacles. All right, we're going to start producing power. Come on down, nice and slow. I've already got my lights on, so nice and slow. Take it easy. Ping one more time just so I can see what's going on. There we go. Yeah, we're good. Sometimes they're in a valley, and then uh, if you get too close, if you're too low, you smash into the the walls around the valley instead of you know getting to where you need to go. And since you can't see anything, you really have to be careful. There we go. Thought I had my lights on. They're just not strong enough yet. We're not close enough. Okay, we're gonna take that away. Oh, looks like someone else is there too. But that's okay, this is a protected port. You'll see on the top right where the saddle, satellite light thing is up there. It'll show a uh, bullet with a cross through it, which means you can't engage any enemies or anybody there. Come on. Going a little too slow. Get a little closer in there. fill up we have to land on the pad. Looks like there's another fella right there. Okay. Hmm. He is pretty much taking up the whole pad. So we're gonna have to wait. Because I have to land on a pad. land back there, I think. Yeah. That's a big ship. Not sure which one that is. We're going to ch change to the outside view so I can see. Oh yeah, he is taking up the whole pad. Look at that. Wow. That's a big ship. Is that the main? That is the main one too, because I gotta go over to that far building over there. Where is he? What's he doing? Where are you, buddy? Is there anybody there? Oh, 
Oh, what am I going to do if I can't get in there? Yeah, I don't think there's anybody in there. And I can't land on there. Okay, that's all right. I'm not going to fight with it. We're going to we're going to head over to um Six I know has because I was just there a little while ago. Okay. Maybe that guy died, or maybe that's a glitch. But either way, we can't land there. So, might as well move on. Pretty neat. Coming out of hyperdrive. so don't have to worry about getting um, jumped. Come on, where are you? Spawn it in there. Another, look at these big ships. Why are they here? Now, first thing I need to do is find out where I gotta go. Where the terminal is. Should be orange lights. Oh. Oh, somebody else is taking off. Okay, that's cool. Now where are... Where... Man, those are big ships. Holy... That's where I gotta go, right there. So we're gonna... gonna drop right in here. Landing complete. And it's always wise to turn your ship off because if the storm comes by your systems are offline. You come out and your ship will be gone. If you turn your ship off on a landing pad, you're you're fine. But if you leave it on Do I have my helmet on? Oh, I gotta put my helmet on. Yes I do. Um, you'll be fine, but if you don't, you have a chance of uh, your ship not being there. Ask me how I know. some diamonds. And nothing else here. I don't need any of that. Go to the 
terminal, we're going to select our location, which is a cutlass block. We're going to hide our inventory. That's what you like to see. We're going to buy all of it. Everything that I can buy. Okay, so I have... How's it going? 3,000 click er, credits left. It's okay, dude. I'm fine. You don't need to tell me where I need to go. Cycle that out. Usually what I would do, too, is uh, poke around these buildings to find, um, you know, extra stuff. But I'm not going to do that today. I have enough. And then if they do a patch, they wipe it out most of the time anyway. And we'll close the door. Yeah, this is all I can afford. Usually, um, this is just full packed right to here. There's only enough room to move around on the sides. But since I lost all my credits in that crash, I don't have to worry about that too much. Alright, so now we're going to head her back to Area 18. Set my throttle, we're gonna fire up. Turn on my lights. Let's see if my lights are on, I think they are. Yep. I can turn my lights off, turn them on. It is a really cool looking ship. And there's a turret there. It's a fairly good fighter. Um I don't do much of that. Okay, so now let's punk punch in our uh, coordinates to get back to uh, Area 18. Once I'm usually done, then I usually just go to Bajinji, Bajinji port. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. There we go. Come punch in our coordinates, and let's lift off, lift our gear. Get out of here. And we have to get out of the atmosphere before we can a raider here. We need to get out of here. I do not like running into people. I had learned to get to area 18 because it's area ladders, area 18 over there. Um, especially in the dark. Where is area 18? Where are you? There it is. The it's dark on the side, like uh, at night, you can't see hardly anything. There's no lights or anything to the um, to the port, the spaceport. So I have my own little way to get there. I'll follow my hyperdrive all the way in until I'm about seven or eight thousand clicks from the actual center. As you can see here, I'm one, you know, coming down, counting down now to. 25k 
See how uh, cloudy it is? You can actually see now. Um, so which way am I heading? 250. And the port will be over there. But it, at night, these clouds are so low, you have to get right down, then you can't, you don't, you lose your, um, your overlook, so you can't see where the port is. I get to about, you know, let's say three, four clicks or whatever, you know, 5,000 meters. And then I'll turn to a heading of 285. And then just follow that and see how, see these clouds, look how hollow they are. landing bay. Alright, that should give me a marker here pretty quick. Just have to keep an eye out for it. And that little white marker is actually another ship. There we are. This looks like my usually la usual landing spot. Usually I'm in these other docks right here, off to the left, where it says one, two, three right there. Those are other docks. And then you just run right in there and pull right in. side view and see how we're doing. Okay, so yeah, that's why you need to nice and slow. And then we'll put our landing gear down. Quantum 
Fuel is at 100%. Oh, that doesn't look like that. Why is that not... Is that pulling up? Oh, it is. Okay. Alright, we're gonna wait. Because for some reason I paid for it and I didn't get full last time. There we go. Hydrogen fuel is at 100%. Okay, so we'll shut her down. Get out. And then run over to... Sell this stuff. Once you get to a bigger ship, a cargo ship, uh, and you have lots of credits, you can really, I mean, really make a lot of cash quick. And we're going to take our helmet off. We don't need that now. Down in there, and head it over to the trade district, Arcourt Plaza. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Moving to storage. Okay, good Please enough. Please visit us again. Thank you for visiting our port, Stanton's you capital of commerce. Whatever wow, okay, disappeared. We wish you a beneficial and prosperous stay. Another thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you um, have water and food. Because now you can run out of food and water and then you can't do anything. Ah, oh, we just missed it. See, the door didn't even open. I think there's another one there, that's why. Sometimes they double you up. Oh, wow, okay. Whoa. Let's go over here. Okay, that is very cool. What is going on there? Those ones there, they go to the um, commercial district, which is um, another area. That there's three, usually three main areas: the plaza, the, the uh, um, shopping center, which we are uh, going to right now, and then the spaceport. What, 80,000? 85,000? I can't remember. I'm only going to get about six grand out of this load, so. And that's fine, whatever. Sooner or later, I'll get back up there. Look at all that graphic, it's pretty cool. Kasaba! This is so quick. I mean, here you take the tram and then up here. And then to your left or right and then there you are. This has got to be the quickest way of any of the th four planets. Oh, dude. Okay. For uh, cargo runs. Probably 15, 20 minutes each. Come on. Open the door. Over here the port. Yeah. Back up. Boop. All right. So now we're gonna go to 
This is your commodities district here. Let's look at this building. It means nothing up there. They, I don't even think they, um... I don't even think they have those are proper prices and everything. Let's see. It says diamond up there, 64, blah, blah, blah. That's like a stock ticker kind of thing. Huh. Okay, anyway. Pick a terminal, any terminal. And we're going to go to Cutlass Black. And we're going to sell our diamonds. And sell. Confirm. So yeah, I did 92 for 86. I think I got seven or 8,000 credits for that. So that's pretty much, you know, all you... All I do to get credits, because I'd like to say I'm not a very good first-person fighter or whatever shooter guy. I'm just basically cannon fodder for everybody else is what I am. I suck. But, um, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot here. There's a lot of places to explore. But you can really lose yourself in this game for a while. That's about it for now. I think that's that's good for uh, a small tutorial. Is that trash? Is that trash floating in this. It's all it's trash. What a beautiful city. Yeah, it reminds me of my hometown Edmonton. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's uh, that's the end of this one. So we'll see you again, maybe.